Hello Internet, Internet. Big Dave here, and I am cheap. Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and welcome back to more Nuclear Throne. So this time on Nuclear Throne, we're going to be playing as Robot, who is actually my second choice, but we'll get into that in just a moment. First of all, something I said I was going to start doing that I need to be more consistent with. This is Nuclear Throne, update number 39. As I've said before, these videos are recorded in chunks and could go up at any point, and by the time this video goes up, update number 39 could be but a faded memory. So now you know. So any questions you might have about why this or that is not in or out of the game is... Uh, probably answered by the fact that we are on update number 39. So as I said, Robot today, second choice though. My first choice was YV, but I've recently learned that I can't play as YV any longer. And there's a really good reason for this. Despite the fact that I do enjoy YV, the pop ability is, is a nice ability. I do like the aesthetic of YV. Uh, YV, of course, is the uh, logo from Gun Gods, which is one of my favorite Vlambeer games, actually, excuse me. Uh, but, unfortunately, that awesome air horn that you can do at the beginning of uh, every single level when you pop into it is actually something you can do at any point in the game. Yeah, and this is pretty much all I'll do the whole time I'm playing as YV. So until that gets old, I can't can't do it because my entire game would be punctuated by well-placed air horns I mean you need to celebrate every kill with an air horn right no you don't you don't but for some reason I do so let's get into it with robot here let's move into things and let's have a little bit of fun robot finds better tech which I understand to mean he gets better guns sooner so a lot of the more powerful weapons show up sooner for him, I think. And he can eat guns for ammo and for health. And he's a robot. He gets updates instead of mutations. And he makes awesome beepity boppity noises. So one of the main things that I want to focus on in this uh, play session is the use of spacebar to switch weapons as opposed to the mouse wheel. Uh, for the uh, number one reason, of being uh, right under my thumb at all times. And I actually have to move my finger over to the mouse wheel, taking it off of the uh, left mouse button to, to fire the fire button. And uh, that's not a good thing. So let's switch with spacebar instead. Okay. Now the uh, grenade launcher. Yeah, I have a love-hate relationship with the grenade launcher. I've killed myself with it many times. But as robot, it's beneficial to grab every weapon that we can because we can eat them. So there's really no reason to pick it up or there's really no reason that we shouldn't pick it up and take it with us um, even if we don't shoot it because we can eat it. Don't want to lose that XP. We got our level. That is excellent. After just missing it on the first level, We'll come back to that evil scorpion in a bit. Uh, the pop gun. Still not really sure what the pop gun does, uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, it's better than the grenade launcher, I'm sure, so I'm going to eat the grenade launcher and pick up the pop gun. And we're going to pop, pop, pop this guy. So if I may put my thinking cap on for a second, which certainly can be dangerous, uh, I am going to say that the pop gun appears to shoot shotgun shells or shotgun-sized bullets, but it actually uses bullet ammo. So, yeah, I don't really know what it does. Uh, but yeah, back muscle here, I think, is the one we're going to go with. Sharp teeth is nice, sure, but that means we're getting hit. Uh, we don't technically have a shotgun, and I don't know how this interacts with the pop gun. And uh, Last Wish is one of those things that you really, you really take in a dire situation, I think, uh, for the most part. And I'm not in a dire situation at this point. So back muscle giving us the ability to hold more ammo, uh, which to me seems like a great thing. So again, not sure what we're doing here with the pop gun, not sure how it works, uh, but it's, you know, it's doing the job and I'm happy about that. I don't want to have two bullet-based weapons. 
uh, for very long. I certainly want to come across something that'll be useful for us. I want to get a little further away from the bandit before that stuff starts going down. Plasma. I like anything that says plasma. Plasma is a good, good thing. Uh, yeah. Oh, actually, I want the pop gun, but right now, beggars, not going to be choosers. Give ourselves a moment to get things set here, and we will sort out our question of what weapon we should be holding. Lots of weapons up here, so that's good. Lots of things we can eat if we are so inclined. And the bandit has, uh, thankfully, stayed in his own neighborhood and given us the ability to kind of hang out out here and uh, figure out what the heck's going on. So I think I need... Plasma. I probably need a little bit of both types of ammo, so I'm going to start out by picking up the disc gun and eating it, and then I will pick up the sledgehammer, or the shovel, excuse me, and eat it. I'm sure there are some people that are just uh, appall appalled at the fact that I ate the shovel. It's a really nice melee weapon, but I'm really bad at melee, so uh, yeah, let's eat the revolver, and let's pick up the pop gun, and let's go down here and let's kill ourselves a bandit, shall we? Spacebar to switch weapons. Reinforcing it, reinforcing it. Where'd he go? Where's he at? Oh, there he is. Oh, yeah, stay up there. I, I like it. Yeah, keep yourself up there. What is that? The fourth plasma bolt? He didn't quite take them all on the chin. But, uh, yeah, that'll do it. Another thing I'm trying to do is just trying to get a little more analytical about the game. Trying to figure out how many shots does it take to kill him. How many shots does it take to kill a mouse or rat? You know, just trying to be more observant. Uh, would be nice to have that shovel, I guess, so, so shame on me. Uh, Bloodlust, Second Stomach, both of them are great. I believe, uh, I've been, I'll, I'll, I'll say I've been watching some other folks who uh, play Nuclear Throne to try to inform myself, reading up a little bit, of, a little bit on the game. Um, yeah, so I think Second Stomach affects our ability to eat guns and get health. But I'm going to go with Bloodlust, because I don't know. Bloodlust. I like the name of it. I used to play a shaman in World of Warcraft, so, you know. That's about how much thought I put into most of my decisions when it comes to this game. I used to play a shaman in Warcraft. Bloodlust. Okay, hello. Hi. Hit me right in the face. It'd be a... Uh, oh, that was a space... That was a... Yeah. Uh, that was a mouse wheel. Weapon switch. When it gets tense, I go back to my old habits. When it gets tense, I go right back to my old habits. Ooh, I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like getting blasted in the face with a shotgun. Not at all. Probably a well-placed plasma bolt would have been the way to go down there, but oh well. I did get a little bit of HP back from Bloodlust, so, you know. Not regretting my decision to take it, despite my shaky shaky logic on why I took it. <sighs> All right, just take a breath. Just calm down. It's okay. You're going to get through it. And hey, guess what? If you don't, there's another run that's going to start seconds later. So it's not a big deal. All right, we got our weapon chest over there. That is not a mimic. I will enjoy some bullets. I am going to switch over to the plasma just to try and do a little bit of damage here. Oh, Bazooka not going to come with us. Mm, damn it. Okay. Impact Wrist. I'm a fan of Impact Wrist. I think I probably overrate Impact Wrist, but I like it a whole lot. Uh, not a fan of extra feats. Not a fan of more speed. Rabbit Paw, great item. And uh, Stronger Track Power, Plutonium Hunger, great item. I think Rabbit Paw is, is the hands-down winner here. Since there's nothing there that's going to give us any life, I think Rabbit Paw is the hands-down winner. Oh, oh, don't get excited. I have this weird uh, tendency to just totally forget everything when there is a, uh, a health canister on the screen. Oh, hello down there. And hello up here. And hello down there. And hello a lot of guys who are trying to kill me and fire that's trying to blast me. And good God, I don't know what. Wow, okay. I was just outclassed right there. I backed myself into this weird place. I was afraid the car was going to explode. I was afraid the sniper was going to get me. I was afraid that the sleeping samurai was going to get me. And I was so uh, so out of my sorts there that I didn't even press R for a quick restart. But here we go back again with Robot. 
Trying to be better. Trying to do better. I'm really bad at melee. So, you know, why not take this opportunity to try and improve with me the melee attacks? Okay, that was good. I always like it when uh, those guys just kind of kill themselves. This weird chain reaction as they spawn in and hit and kill one another. Looks like we're just not quite going to make it to level 2. Yeah, just not quite going to make it. That's too bad. This is one of those games where, you know, I see something like this that I can do damage to, and I just like, is that somehow a key to a secret? I don't know. Because I just feel like everything could be a secret. After I accidentally found that, whatchamacallit, Ninja Turtle layer in a past video, now I just think everything, everything is a potential secret. All right, got that chain reaction again. Got it again. I like it. Uh, the disc gun. I don't like you, Mr. Disc Gun. So you're going to be eaten. And I'll take the screwdriver with me. Because, you know, I'm no good with melee. But I am a lot worse with this disc gun. Actually, I'm really good with the disc gun if what we're measuring is my ability to kill myself. I'm probably top five in the world. Killing myself with a disc gun. All right, shells. I guess I should have switched over to my pistol to open that box, but, you know, I'm bad. So that, that explains why that didn't happen. All right. Assault rifle. I do like a, I do like an assault rifle. So, uh, yeah, we'll switch over and we will take our assault rifle with us. Uh, yeah, so let's, uh, let's think about this. Let's do this correctly. I need to switch over to my screwdriver, pick up the pistol, eat it to get more bullets, and then pick the screwdriver up. I think if I had eaten that holding the screwdriver, I would have got a random... Yeah, I think I would have gotten a random item. So, oof. Damage. Yeah, so I think I would have gotten a random item. And that's what I get for thinking. Uh, thinking gets me uh, two damage, apparently. So, chain reaction, chain reaction... Nope, just more damage. Ugh, the play is poor. The play is poor tonight. Uh, rhino skin, feel like I need it. Back muscle, we've already talked about, which uh, I think, again, I think I've undervalued back muscle in the past. Uh, but yeah, I think rhino skin, because somebody's got to carry my uh, sorry play here. Or something has got to carry my sorry play. Last wish, it's not, not that time yet. Uh, but uh, yeah, boiling veins, we'll go ahead and take it. It's a future investment. All right, all right. Let's let's do it. Do it better than we have been doing it. Getting a little more comfortable with the melee attacks. Feeling a little bit better. We got our bandit over there, so as far as I'm concerned, he can just stay over there. Go over here and clear out. Give ourselves a place to work and not take that damage. So surprised that I actually pulled that dodge off. Gonna just chalk it up to dumb luck. Not for one minute. Gonna assume that I did anything great on purpose, not tonight. Not the way things have been going for this play session. All right, we got ourselves a level. We've got a grenade launcher, with, which could help us make short work of the bandit. Uh, so yeah, so let's eat the screwdriver and we'll take the grenade launcher. No, wait. What did I do? Eat the screwdriver, take the grenade launcher. That's what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. And we got a plasma gun again. Oh my goodness, plasma gun. Uh, yeah, just I think immediately. Just up there, calm down. I really want that plasma gun. Oh, oh, damage, damage, damage. Okay, let's just... Let's stop dancing around the plasma gun. Just go up here and kill this guy. There we go. All right, and uh, yeah, I'm going to get rid of this... Uh, yeah, I'm going to get rid of this suicide waiting to happen in the form of the uh, grenade launcher, and we're going to take the plasma gun with us. Probably should have done that the other way around. That's the thing with this guy. All this precision, you have to think. I'm not in a thinking, in a thinking frame of mind tonight. Uh, Throw up better gun nutrition. Euphoria, God, slower bullets. Like I, That seems like maybe one of the things I need. Less HP... And uh, Lucky Shot. Uh, these are all decent enough. Uh, thrown Butt, yeah, I think Thrown Butt doubles, as I, as I remember. 
doubles your gun nutrition. So when you eat something, you get two pops. So you could get ammo and ammo. You get bullets and bullets. You could get uh, health and bullets, that kind of thing. So you get kind of like two drops, essentially, from gun nutrition. From your uh, whatever the hell the ability is called when you eat something. Hey, rat. Hey, how you doing? I see you've got friends here. I see that I'm wasting a whole lot of plasma shots taking out your friends, but uh, that's okay, because I'm still alive. I'm still alive, and I'm planning to be alive for at least the next 30 seconds. Oh, just a single rat down there. I think I can handle that. Amazingly, I did. All right. Okay. Let's not get too confident here. Okay, I see you. I see you. You're peeping. I see him. There he is. All right, we took him out. Man, it is a rat party up in here. Not a fan of that. Uh, double shotgun. I, we're not losing anything taking a double shotgun because our plasma rifle is empty right now. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, let's go ahead and take that. We will eat and take. We've got some shots here. That's good. Pick up even more shells. And we'll make it past the sewers. Oh, goodness. Not a very good run going on this evening. I don't know what to even chalk it up to. Rust? I don't know because I've been playing enough that it shouldn't be rust. Oop. Yeah, it's just one of those days, I think. Flame everywhere. Saw that coming, almost blew myself up. Just feeling dejected right now. I'm just it's it's kind of that point where I'm just waiting for the timer to get high enough on this video so that I can just stop playing. And that's nothing to do with the game. It's one of those things of when your mindset isn't there, this is how you play. You play poorly. And that's what's happening right now. Sawed off shotgun, no idea. That's the first time I think I've ever seen that gun. Uh, but let's take it and shoot it. Okay, nice short range weapon. Uh, let's eat it for health and continue on with our double barrel shotgun. These guys, of course, uh, don't think they could, I don't think these guys could be in a worse place if they tried. We'll blow this car up to hopefully open up that area. And it did. All right. Just trying to center myself here, trying to pull something together, but it's just not going to happen. All right, impact wrist. Sure, we've got a shotgun that makes guys fly all around, and impact wrist could, impact wrist could definitely help us quite a bit. Just lots of stuff over there I don't want to be a part of. Lots of stuff over there that I just, I don't even want to, yeah, I'm not going to your death party over there right now. So paranoid of mimics. So paranoid of mimics. Okay. Okay, let's walk up here, let's kill this sniper, let's finish this level off. Oh, hello. Hey, go ahead, call the cops, why not? Yeah, he turned into a, uh, turned into a big uh, obelisk and he reflected all my shots back at me, so I murdered myself. Yeah, that's kind of just the night I'm having, nuclear throne here, just sort of the night that I'm having. So this has been Robot, and uh, this has been a dejected and somehow just simply off his game Big Dave failing horribly at Nuclear Throne. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Hopefully, uh, the next episode will be one of improvement instead of another one of these things. <sighs> I'm going to take some time. I'm going to play a little. I'm just going to... You know what? I don't want to end this on a bummer. So I'm going to do this for a minute. I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.